Hi YouTube friends! For this project we are going to be making a stack of books out of, again, we're going to use the same box crate that I used in my kissing booth from the Dollar Tree. What you didn't see in my beginning of my video is I took my Waverly chalk paint and I went ahead and I painted the entire box and then here I'm using my heat gun to go ahead and dry it because you all know that I'm impatient and I don't wait for anything. So here I am drying the entire box and once again it is painted completely white with my Waverly chalk paint that I buy at Walmart and it really is the best paint because it gives the best coverage. See there you see it, the Waverly chalk white paint. I didn't want my handles on the sides to show so what I'm doing is I just took some plain white cardstock and I measured the sides. I went ahead and cut those out and glued those down to cover up the handles on the end so that you couldn't see them. I really couldn't think of a better way to do this. If somebody has a better way to do that, I would love it if you would uh, post your comment below and let me know what your better way of doing that is because this was as good as I could come up with. And then I just glued them on. And I used my, once I put the hot glue on and I glued them down, I used my Cricut scraper to spread the glue around on the end so that it was pretty even. And then I just, if any glue uh, came out on the ends, I just wiped it off. I really love using these little crate boxes from Dollar Tree. They are so useful and you can use them in so many things. Then I took my craft knife from Cricut and I cut off some ends of the cardstock paper that kind of hung over a little bit. And then I bought this uh, alphabet stamp set from Michaels the other night and I really like it. I don't know what it's called, but I'm sure you can find it on their website or hopefully in their store. I know this is once again a little bit out of view that as I uh, make the uh, words a little bit bigger, you'll be able to see a little bit more. And what I'm putting on my three books, so to speak, are the words truly, madly, deeply. And I love that saying because that's how I feel about my Valentine. I didn't really care whether they were straight. You might if uh, you know you want everything to be straight. I kind of like it when things are a little bit crooked. It gives it, for me, it gives it a little bit more of a childlike feeling or maybe a little bit more of a farmhouse. I don't know. I just, I like them when they're not completely uh, straight. I really like this stamping set that I picked up from Michaels. I like the size of the letters and they're really easy to stamp with. The stamp pad, I'm sure you can buy stamp pads in Michaels or in Hobby Lobby or in sometimes, actually I think I even picked one up today in the Dollar, in the dollar Tree, but I bought these off of Amazon and it was a box because I had purchased another one at Christmas time that was smaller letters but I was able to pick this one up and I believe that it is it's a 15 color box so those are the stamp pads I was using then I took this I made a bow that is Dollar Tree ribbon you see me using the pink and white check I made a bow out of it and I glued it just into the underside of the crate spread out my bow put a little rhinestone heart in the center of it and that's all there was to it 
and this is how it turned out. I think it's super cute. I can't wait until my house is completely decorated for Valentine's Day. Until then, see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.